Welcome back to the Solutions Manual. In this video, we will solve the problem F8-4 from RC Hibaler Engineering Statics 14th edition. According to this problem, if the coefficient of the static friction at contact points A and B is 0.3, we have to determine the maximum force P that can be applied without causing the 100 kg spool to move. So to solve this problem, first of all, we have to draw the free body diagram of this spool. So as this external force P is pulling the spool in the upward direction, it will cause it to rotate and it will rotate in the counterclockwise direction. So to oppose this counterclockwise rotation, we would have the frictional forces at the contact points A and B to oppose this relative motion. So this is the frictional force at point A and this is the frictional force at point B. We also have the normal contact force at the points A and B. So this is the contact force at point A and this is the contact force at point B. Let's label them. So this right here is FA. This is NA. This is NB. We also have a weight force acting in the downward direction. So to draw the weight force, let me drag it backward. Because the weight will act in the middle. This is the weight force. Let's call this W. So this is our free body diagram. Now we can apply our equations of equilibrium. So my first equation is summation of moments at point A equals to 0. I am considering counterclockwise direction as positive. So since the line of action of FA and NA is passing through the point A, so these two forces do not have any momentum with respect to the point A. So NA and FA will not produce any moment about the point A. But we have this frictional force FB and it is trying to rotate the spool in clockwise direction about the point A. So the moment produced by this FB force will be taken as negative. So we have negative FB and the moment arm is this distance which is 0 0.9 meters. If you look here, this NB force is trying to rotate the spool in counterclockwise direction about the point A. So the moment produced by this NB force will be taken as positive. So we have positive NB. And the moment arm is still 0 0.9 meters. The weight of the spool is trying to rotate the spool in clockwise direction about the point A. So the moment produced by this weight of the spool will be taken as negative. So for the weight we have been given the mass. So 100 into 9.81. And since the weight is acting in the middle, so the moment arm is also 0 0.9 meters. This external force P is trying to rotate the spool in counterclockwise direction about the point A. So the moment produced by this force P will be taken as positive. So we have positive P. And the moment arm is this distance, which is actually 0 0.9 plus 0 0.6 meters. So 1. 5 meters equals to 0. Now before moving forward, we have to consider a condition that is, since it's a case of impending motion, means that the motion is about to occur So we can write the frictional force Fb as the coefficient of static friction 
into the normal reaction Nb. Similarly, the frictional force Fa can be written as the coefficient of static friction into the normal reaction at point A. So our above equation becomes 0 0.3 into Nb into 0 0.9 plus 0 0.9 Nb minus 882.9 plus 1.5 p equals to 0. Upon further simplification, we have 0 0.63 nb minus 882.9 plus 1.5 p equals to 0. Now in this equation we have two unknowns but we have a single equation. So we have to form an another equation. So let's call this equation 1. So for the second equation we can do summation of forces in x direction equals to 0. I am considering right hand side as positive. So we have Na force minus the frictional force Fb equals to 0. So Na minus and the frictional force Fb is coefficient of static friction into the normal reaction at point B equals to 0. So now we have three unknowns P, NB and Na but we have two equations. So we have to form an another equation. So for the third equation, we can do summation of forces in y direction equals to 0. I am considering up direction as positive. So we have Nb force plus the frictional force Fa minus the weight force and weight is 100 into 9.81. plus the force P equals to 0. So upon further simplification we have Nb plus Fa can be written as coefficient of static friction into the normal reaction at point A minus 981 plus P equals to 0. Let's call this equation 3. So now we have three equations, equation 1, 2 and 3. So we can simultaneously solve them and get our unknowns or variables. Our objective is to find the maximum force P. So for max force P, Consider equation 2. This equation. So Na minus 0 0.3 Nb equals to 0. If I shift this to the other side, then it would become Na is equals to 0 0.3 Nb. Let's call this equation A. and put this equation A into equation 3. So equation 3 becomes Nb plus 0 0.3 Na and in the place of Na we can put 0 0.3 Nb minus 981 plus p equals to 0. So upon simplification we have if you combine these two terms we have 1.09 nb minus 981 
plus p equals to 0. And upon further simplification, if I make n be the subject, I would have 981 minus p over 1.09. Let's call this equation b. And put this equation b into equation 1 into this equation. Let me zoom out. So equation 1 becomes So we have 0 0.63 nb and in the place of nb we can put this equation b. So we have 981 minus p over 1.09 minus 882.9 plus 1.5 p equals to 0. So upon simplification, we have 567 minus 0 0.578p minus 882.9 plus 1.5p equals to 0. So upon further simplification, p comes out to be 342.6 newtons. So this is our final answer. We could have also extended this solution by finding the values of Na and Nb. But that's not the objective of this problem. So we will just stop right here. So this is it for this problem. I hope you would find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any questions or any doubts in the free body diagram or in the equations of equilibrium or even in the condition that we had used, then feel free to ask in the comment section and I will try to answer them as soon as possible. Thank you.